Hi guys, I'm back from vacation, not feeling very well. I ordered some new things uh, to film from a different direction, so fingers crossed that that works. And some of you asked for uh, longer length videos, and this one is definitely longer. Okay, I'm going to let you watch the video. Make sure you check out the information box. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe, like, and share. Get yourself out there. Create something positive. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi guys, it's Jen. Um, we're going to do a little experimenting today. This is an 18 by 24 canvas. Um, repainting over a painting I didn't like. Um, we're going to try a different uh, pipe. And we're, I also combined um, the satin enamel with the uh, milk paint in my white. Uh, so we're going to see how that goes. It could go horribly wrong. So we're going to use this wacky pipe. And I think all of my paints that I've mixed um, are a one part paint, two parts Floetrol. Um, they all have a little squirt of GAC 800 and they also have a, um, a squirt of um, my mixture of the, what's this called? It is the Creative Inspirations Acrylic Medium Polymer Gloss Medium Varnish. Wow, that was, that was a lot to say. And then I am also have it mixed with the golden color pouring, pouring medium gloss. Um, paints are pretty thick. So let's look at the blue. Here's what my white looks like. The milk, the milk paint smells terrible. Um, I don't know what um, ingredients are in it that make it smell so bad. Um, I tried to do two uh, pair um, a color with a like color, so I've got two purplish colors. I have, well, I have three bluish colors, but one's the dark, um, Payne's Gray, and it is actually a, um, color art, uh, primary element in Payne's Gray. Um, I have two greens. I have two light turquoise colors and I have two purplish pink colors. All right, let's see how much paint we need for this canvas. And um, the way I measure how much paint I have um, is the same way that uh, Gina DeLuca um, tells you to measure. So you times the size of the canvas together so this is an 18 by 24, and then you divide by 28. Oh, nope, that didn't come up right. 24. Wait, is this an 18 by 20? Let me check. 24, yep, yeah. it's an 18 by 24. So that's about 15.43 ounces. Um, this is a deep canvas, so I'm gonna go ahead and go up to 16 ounces. Um, I put kind of a skim coat with um, really thin white on. Um, so probably not gonna really count that in the 16 ounces, but you know, we'll see how it goes. I would really love, um, negative space, but you know how I am with negative space. Uh, sometimes it happens, um, and I honestly I'm shocked with myself when it does happen, because I, I love color so much 
that I, um, I usually fill the whole canvas with color. Okay, guys, fingers crossed. Let's see, I'm right-handed, so let's move this a little bit. Um, I have the little, uh, what are these, S-hooks? Yeah, the S-hooks on the bottom of the canvas. What should we do first? Let's pour a little of the white. Whoops, is this clean in there? All right, well, it's new, so I don't know. I can't remember if I cleaned it up or not. All right, quick wipe down. Again, these are pretty thick, so hopefully yeah, that's okay. I thought this kind of pipe was interesting because it kind of has a pouring spout. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. You know what? Should we do the dark first? The dark is going to be the um, Color Art Payne's Gray. Um, using the uh, what is this stuff called? Polypore. And this one's pretty thick. I'm hoping this is gonna be okay. And every single one of these colors has some kind of iridescence in it or another. And I just started using, where is it? Um, this Liquitex string gel. Um, so I'm putting it in a few of my colors to see what kind of effects I can get. It's a texture gel, um, but it is supposed to enhance depth of color and increase transparency. So, We'll see how that goes. Oh, 
it's trying to tip over. Hard to say how much paint this thing holds. And it looks like it is escaping out the bottom. Let's see how much of that happens. Let's help it along a little bit. You can already see the cloudiness of the white. You guys, if you choose, if you guys end up use, using the Color Art um, Primary Elements pigments, they set up very, very quickly. Um, the polypore, um, it, it sets up very quickly. So, if you're going to use them, you need to make sure that you are ready to go and you're ready to use them immediately. If not, I would make sure you cover them ASAP. some more swirling. Should we do some ribbons? I don't know. Let's add some different colored blues. I'm going to add like a turquoise and a phthalo blue. And I did some swirling in my ribbon cup and we're going to pinch it And this mixture I just put on is one part satin, satin enamel, one part house paint, and two parts Coatrol. I created this blue color here that I'm in love with. It's actually the DecoArt Extreme Sheen in Sapphire. And then I added the, I think it's Holbin, Holbin brand, Luminous Violet paint. I absolutely love it. It's so vibrant. Let's add some more interest here. that hasn't happened yet okay let's do it every time I'm about ready to stretch something I feel such joy
gonna see what happens here um, and then we'll tackle this corner like a little bit of wispy um, interesting things happening here with the white what to do what to do 